all you rabid Lions fans, and welcome to Lions on the Prowl. News, rumors, and debates from the fans' perspective. Here's Jim and Tim. Hello, all you Lions fans. This is Lions on the Prowl. My name's Jim. And um, in this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about Matthew Stafford and, and how much time does he really have left. Um, I, I actually think it's, it's a lot more than what some people think. So last year, I, I, I started thinking about this. It was one of the questions on the roundtable. So I started thinking about this, and uh, I wanted to do a video on it. Matthew Stafford last year, right, through eight games, when he got hurt, we all know about the back injuries, uh, he was first in yards per game with 312 yards. He was fourth in yards attempted at 8.6. His um, passing touchdowns were 19th, which were well, 19, which were second in the league. And his passer rating was 106, which is fifth in the entire league. Talking about elite, that's elite. So Chris Sims has a top 40 quarterback countdown, and Stafford was number nine even though he only played eight games. Let's address the back issues. The back issues won uh, 2018, and she played through, and that was a separate, different injury from the one he suffered in um, 2019, which took him out of the uh, took him out of the equation for last year. That, that really did hurt the Lions. Believe me, that really hurt the Lions. So, honesty with you guys... 2017, this guy had 47 sacks on him. 2018, he had 40 sacks. And last year, in only eight games, he had 18 sacks. We have got to fix this offensive line if we do want Matthew Stafford to stay healthy. Now, how long do I think we got? Now, some of this comes from this tank for Lawrence bullcrap, where Trevor Lawrence is a really good quarterback and that he could be Matthew Stafford's replacement. We should have got Tua because Matthew Stafford's old. He's old? Really? He's 32. He won't be 33 until next February. Shocking maybe to most people, but he's only 32 years old. In these days, 40 is the next 30, uh, especially for quarterbacks. I mean, Matthew Stafford is a more mobile quarterback than you give him credit for. He does elude a lot of uh, uh, tackles and, and does run the ball a little bit for us. But I think he's been very, very durable over this time period, except for that injury last year. And his 2018 um, stats weren't really good. He didn't look like himself. But I don't attribute that to age because look at 2019 and what he did, you know. But I don't attribute that to age. I think the injury is not going to be reoccurring because there were two separate injuries, okay. So I just want to get that out there. He's only 32 years old. I think he has four to five years left. I have no idea why we're trying, des- why the fan base is trying desperately to get rid of this guy. I really don't understand it. But anyway, we went through another Stafford video where I pointed out where it wasn't his fault for a lot of the, the losses and all the stuff that's happening to us. This guy has elite stats. If he had a, if he had a Super Bowl win, he's a Hall of Fame contender. Absolutely by the numbers, you know. But I really do not understand all all this stuff about, oh, he's old. We got to get rid of him. He is not old. (laughs) Tom Brady is old. Aaron Rodgers has some years on on Stafford. And I can see him in a little bit of a decline. I don't see Stafford in decline. We have so many areas on this team that we need to address. Why do we always go to the quarterback position and say that's the point that isn't good enough when Stafford has had top 10 passing offense his entire career just about so it it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever but just looking at this because i okay he's 32 years old he's had two pretty decent back injuries hand injuries knee injuries the guy's played through a lot of pain broken hand played through that now that shoulder thing in that cleveland game that that just won me over to Stafford right there. The heart this guy has, the way he wants to stay here when people don't really want to come here. And he gets all this crap. And and I, I, I really don't like that part of it. But I'm, I'm baffled by the rush to judgment and the rush to get rid of a player that has been probably one of the most consistent players on our team. You know, um, 
they're talking about Kenny Galladay getting a MVP for the Detroit Lions. And I'm wondering why that uh, Kenny Galladay would get MVP when Stafford's throwing him the ball. And and I think that um, it, it makes no sense to me, um, like I said, because his team is – this team has not been built very well around him. The offensive line has not been great. It's been good at times, but not great. He has no running game, or he had none. If he has a running game, I swear, you guys, you're going to see a lot of things. And a defense. I hope the defense plays well, too, this year, if we have a season. I did a video about that, too, so that's out as well. But it was just a quick thing. that I, I, I don't even understand why a 32-year-old quarterback is old, and it's time to get rid of him. This fan base has been like, let's get rid of them for a very long time. Let's trade them. Let's get rid of them. You know, you put this guy, you put this guy in a lot of different situations and he's a Super Bowl champion. I can think of um, San Francisco, Dallas, you know, put him there, put him those two places, put him in New England for God's sakes. What are they going to do? You know, but no, let's get rid of them. You know, and I, and I always hate that. I always hate that thing, and I've, I've said that before. I, you know, I want to go over and over and over it, but my contention is this guy has three to four, four to five, and I would I would say the four to five is, is more likely years left. Good years. Not just years, good years. We have a window of probably, I would say, like I said, three to four years where we could probably get to a Super Bowl with Matthew Stafford. Can we please build a team around him instead of continuing to want to get rid of him? I have no idea where this comes from. I really don't. No, he doesn't have any playoff wins. He's had three playoff games, 28 comebacks, 34 game-winning drives. But let's get rid of the guy. Makes perfect sense to me. No, and he had two comeback wins last year out of the eight games that we played. And... (laughs) We only won three games, so <laughs> so two out of three games Stafford came back in those games. Oh, that's crazy. Or the tie, you know, because we had the tie with the Cardinals. But I think it's a joke. I don't know what you think. Well, let me know what you think down in the comments. How long do you think or how many good years does Matthew Stafford have left? And can we win a championship with this quarterback? If you think no, put it in the comments. If you think we should suck for Trevor Lawrence and trade Stafford to the Patriots for a bag of popcorn and whatever else we get a stick of gum then fine whatever I, you know I, I want this team to win that's the bottom line we all want a Super Bowl here in Detroit because that's that's the bottom line for all of us and so I wanted to make this video really quickly to just to, to open your mind a little bit we <laughs> I don't understand this whole thing of oh let's go we got to get a quarterback what about Tua what about this guy what about that guy what about Trevor Lawrence it's not time yet it is not time yet, guys. Not even close. And and the people that think if a new regime comes in, they're going to get rid of this guy? You're nuts. You are crazy. Oh, they're going to want to get their own franchise quarterback in. No, they're not. No, 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 no. Not when you've got a guy like Stafford and people are going to hate this. They're going to hate on him, and that's fine. I mean, that's that's, you know, that's the way Stafford haters do it, you know. I am not one of them. And I look forward to four or five more years of Matthew Stafford. He'll finish his contract, and I think that he'll get another contract. And uh, let's see where we can go. Let's see if we can build this team around him, get him a solid offensive line, get him a running game, get him a fearsome defense that people will be like, you know, get him, get him good special teams play. Let's have everybody play up to their potential for once. Wouldn't that be nice, you know? And, and all those things together, people playing to their potential, people playing – above their potential free agents that play that just ball out instead of suck would be really nice you know there's so many other reasons to to doubt this team but i don't think your quarterback is one of them but anyway i want to give a shout out to to all all the dsa members i really appreciate everybody's help and and support and things like that i want to give a shout out to um dose of dion and everything king and um, oh my God, it's Lions Talk. I'm live with him um, tomorrow night. This video might not come out till tomorrow. I don't know. I might put it out today. I don't know about that. But anyway, that was my two cents on Matthew Stafford and, and how long I think he'll be able to play and how many good years he has left. And all right, I appreciate you watching. 
please subscribe to all the DSA members. They are located at the right side of the video. And if you just scroll down, you can just hit subscribe to every single one. Makes it nice and easy, and it really helps us to be able to bring you more Lions content. Really appreciate everybody. Thank you for watching. And everybody that's out there that's a YouTube YouTuber about the Lions and stuff like that. Just keep going on. I know there's been a lot of division and stuff like that and, and all these things going on. Personally, I don't want to be a part of that, you know, so shout out to Micro Mike and those guys and that. And that. I, I'm not going to sit here and be in this weird debate or whatever. It, it, it's not something I want to do. So good guys. And uh, anyway, and we're just going to keep it at that. <laughs> Support all the Lions YouTubers and and uh, us as well. If you like the video and you like the content and you like uh, what we're doing over here, then please like and subscribe and hit the little bell thingy that you so you know when the uh, the videos are coming out and uh, and you can check those out. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for your support and you have a wonderful day. I'm out.